So here we are, the Paul and Queenie show. Uh, well, Queenie's not here. Um, so I'm doing the uh, landing of the, of the second floor and I'm about to start painting. This is my project for the minute. After uh, today, I want to finish painting this room. Well, not the wallpaper, that's a, that's a separate challenge. They're my sample paints that I've done up on the wall. I've also done a second sample, sample paints over here to see what, uh, what I like. We're going with Chantilly Lace which we thought was warm but not too warm, a bit historical, not too, too, too historical, which is the, uh, I guess, from, in, from where we're standing, the second from the end. So I've just finished corking, basically using uh, an acrylic latex uh, cork that basically just seals the edge up there so it looks nice and finished. Um, so I just use my finger and uh, wipe it off as I go, so squ squeeze it in. Uh, make sure you buy a very good uh, corking machine best one you can find. Um, it always makes a difference, you get a lot more control. So my next step now um, is to cut. So I'm gonna go around all the edges again. Um, this takes half an hour to dry, so we're about, so what are we here? Yeah, 30 minutes. Oh, we're good, I can start cutting over there with the Chantilly Lace. Um, I've got a few more areas to sand because I've got some hairline cracks and uh, well there I've used um, dry um, putty, but actually what I should be using is this, just squeezing it in and rubbing it down so it gets into the cork. So this is actually flexible and it will move with the house because all houses are gonna move. Um, traditionally, you would always do the ceiling first and then do the walls and work your way down. That's the classic way to work. Uh, I'm breaking that mantra for the minute simply because um, I've got a builder coming in next week and I just wanna see what he says about uh, approaching the ceiling because the beams are pushing down on it. So um, I just want to do this for the minute and just see how that feels. I also want to make sure I love the colour. That's actually another big part of it. Um, and then I'll get to the skirts after that. So I'm doing a matte, super matte with the walls and doing a super gloss in the same colour on the skirting board. So um, I actually started taping things up. Uh, then I realised actually I got to paint over it so it doesn't really matter. Um, Probably it wouldn't be a bad idea when I do the skirting boards to actually tape. I will be taping everything once I do the skirting boards and the, and the runners and the cornices. Um, but um, yeah, let's see how we go. I'll give you an update halfway through. 